Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using Microsoft Flip. I'll show you the teacher side and the student side of participating in Microsoft Flip activities. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to get started. First of all, this is your first time using Microsoft Flip. You'll want to sign up for a free account. Now, Microsoft Flip is a Microsoft product, so you can sign up with a Microsoft account if you want, a Google account, or an Apple account. I'm going to sign up in this case here using one of my Google accounts. And you can see I'm going to pick that one right there. And let's set up some information about myself and put in my birth date. And put in where in the world I am. I'm in the United States. And let's go ahead and click done. And now I'm going to say that I am an educator. And let's say that I'm going to work at the high school level this year. Or perhaps I could go with the all ages. If you're a technology integrator or a tech coach who's working across many grade levels, you might say all ages. Now. Let's create our first group. And a group is basically an online classroom. Think of this as all the people you're going to interact with, and it might be in your classroom or it might be school wide. For most teachers, you're probably going to call it something that your students can easily identify. In this case, here, Mr. Burns Fall 2023 class. And let's pick a little theme or background for it. I'm going to use just this kind of default one here that has a nice picture of the books. But you can see we have lots of other options you can pick from if you want to. But I'm happy with that one. And now let's go ahead and click on the Create button in the bottom right-hand corner. And now we'll see some settings that are available to us here we can see Mr. Burns Fall 2023 class. And I have a link that I can now give to my students in order to join our group. And you can see here, the default is anyone with the link can join, but you can also restrict it to only the people that you approve. And you can see here we have some other options. If you're using Google Classroom, you can import your Google Classroom roster or add in some email addresses or even usernames if you know that some of your students already have Microsoft Flip accounts. And I should point out that up, up at the top of this tab, we also see a little QR code and you can get a QR code for your kids to scan with their mobile devices to join your Microsoft Flip group. Now, I'll come back to all of these in just a moment. Right now, I want to show you the topics. And topics are the things you're going to have students talk about or discuss in your Microsoft Flip group. So think of these in some ways as a little assignment. Now, you can see here there's some default ones that are provided for you, like a weekly check-in, a general discussion, and introductions to the class. Now, if you want to get rid of them, just simply click on the little menu on the far right side and you can delete that topic. Yes, I want to delete that topic. And if there were any videos in it, we would delete the videos that go with it. I'm going to delete the general topic as well. Yep. And now I'm going to go into the introductions. I'm going to edit this one a little bit. So let's go in and edit my introductions. And I want to give my students a little more direction than what's just listed right here. So on the upper right corner, we'll see edit topic. And I'm going to say to my students, please, Introduce yourself to the class. 
We can do this in one of two ways. One, tell a school appropriate joke. Or two, tell us the your favorite part of the summer. And you can see there, we can now post that topic for our students. But before I do that, I want to point out that you can also set a time limit for your students of as short as 15 seconds or as long as 10 minutes. Let's go here and say, I'm going to give my students just one minute and 30 seconds. 90 seconds is a long time to talk on camera if you're not used to it. Now I'm going to update that topic, and we can see our students now have this refined or revised prompt of tell a school appropriate joke or tell us your favorite part of the summer. And now I am going to record so that my students have a little model of what to look for or what to do when they click the record button. Now to record a model response for my students, I'm simply gonna click on that record button and I'm going to launch the Microsoft Flip camera. And if this is your first time using it, you'll probably be prompted to allow Microsoft Flip to access your camera and microphone on your device. You can see there, mine is loading right now. And now I'm gonna tell my class a joke by clicking on the record button. Question, what did the couch say when it wanted to change the channel? Answer, nothing. Couches can't talk. And now when I'm done with that, I'll just click the next button. Question, what did the couch say when it wanted to change the channel? Answer, nothing. Couches can't talk. And now when I'm done with that, question. And you can see here, now I can split this if I want to. I can add some music, but I don't want to do that for this. I'm just going to click next. And I'm going to put in a little caption and call it hashtag dad jokes. And post it to the topic. And then I'll go back to the topic and we'll see the first response coming in right there. Now in the next part of this video, we'll take a look at how your students join your Microsoft Flip group and how they can respond to your prompt like the one that I have right here. All right, and now that we have created our introduction topic, and record a little demo for our students, we want to get students to join our group. So again, let's go back to the group itself. And you can see there's our join code. You'll also notice over here, we have a share button and clicking on that share button will bring up not only your join code, but also the direct link and that QR code for your students to scan if they're using mobile devices. Let's go ahead now and I'm just going to use that link. And I'm gonna bring up the student view right now. So a student who uses your Microsoft Flip group link or join code is going to see this page. And if they don't have an account, they're going to be prompted to sign up or sign in. If they do have an account, they'll simply see to join the group. And my student is going to join right now using a Google account. And I'm gonna use my student Max, who's going to join the group right now. And I'll use Max's account. And he's gonna see here, Mr. Burns Fall Class 2023. He's also going to see all the other classes he might have joined. So maybe he's in a whole bunch of other classes. If you're a high school teacher or a middle school teacher, 
it's very likely that your student's going to have other Microsoft Flip classes that they are members of. Uh, it's important to remind them that they need to double check that when they're responding, they're responding to the right class, to the right group. And they're going to see right here, there's the introductions prompt. And they can read it. And then they can record just like I did in the prior segment where I showed you recording as a teacher. It's the exact same thing for the student. Click that record button and they can record their video clip. And so I'll give you a quick little demo of that right now. So our student is just going to click that record button. And again, if this is their first time using Microsoft Flip, they might be prompted by their web browser to enable access to the camera and microphone. Make sure they click allow. And once they do that, they'll see the camera appear. And here's Max. Here's Max. He's going to now record. And he's going to tell a joke. And his joke is, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Oh. And he can click next. And next again. And then he can put in a caption if wanted, if needed, or not. And post to the topic. And I'll get that little reminder don't close it until it's actually been posted and now he can go back to the topic and see the two responses that are in there and next we'll go back to the teacher side of Microsoft flip and look at some of the controls you have over the submissions your students make all right so back here in my teacher account I can see there's my introductions and if I click on it I can see both videos that have been recorded so far and I'm going to point out that you have the option to watch your students videos each one of them individually and he's going to tell a joke and you can add comments to it you can make that comment public or make it private only for the student and I might say Something like, great joke, and make that a private comment just for the student. Now you'll see over there, I also have a little camera icon, which tells me that if I click on it, I can record a video comment for my student. Let's go right back to that and see. And, and he's right, going to tell a joke. I'm going to write, great joke. And make that a private comment for my student. There it is. Now, if I go back to the introductions, I also have some more controls. Let's say that my student told a joke that was not appropriate for school. Well, I can go in and delete that response and just delete the video entirely. Now, if I want to have a record of it before I delete it, I can go ahead and download that video so that later on they might say, no, I didn't say that, Mr. Byrne. Say, well, actually you did, and I have the video to prove it. So you can download it before you delete the video response as well. Now, I should point out that in your group settings, on the right-hand side, you do have some group settings that you can use and some topic permissions that you can use and you can say only educators and co-educators co-leads can create new topics and over here on the right hand side i'm going to point out that you can also change your topic settings to make it a view only topic so maybe once your students have all introduced themselves to the class you don't want to have any more submissions you can make that a view only topic. And let's go right back in here and look at our topic permissions and our group edit. Let's edit that group once again. And you can see here, I can change out the colors and I can update it as I see fit. So that's a short overview 
or not so short overview of how to get started using Microsoft Flip. Now, I have many other tutorials about Microsoft Flip that deal with other features like using the whiteboard feature and using the green screen feature that's available in Microsoft Flip. And those videos are linked up down below. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.